Hey guys, I probably look super tired, and I'm filming this on my little faux pro, so audio is going to be a little weird. Um, I'll try to adjust that, but um, Allison and I were sleeping last night, and we, we woke up to this big, like, boom, like something hit the tent, and we're like, what was that? You know, it like jolted up, and I can hear someone running away, and I was like, and we can hear somebody's like boots running away. I was like, what the fuck? Something hit the tent like super hard. <clears throat> Anyways, I wake up this morning <clears throat> and I see this, right? So, and then I'm looking at this and I'm like, all right, so something obviously came through at this, it like hit here first and then came through here. I was like, maybe a stick like fell off a tree and hit and then fell out. No stick on the ground, no stick. Allison wakes up and goes, look at this hole above my head. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay, so it's at, it's at like the same trajectory angle, you know, um, from over here. And so, um, I look down here in the corner, and down here in this little corner, maybe I have it, I think I have it in my pocket right now. Um, and, and so down here, wedged in between here and here, um, there was a quartz rock quartz rock and they um so here it is so this big guy they threw this and it they threw it from outside our tent we went through this hole ripped through this hole over allison's head she's sleeping right here went over her head and through here and then wedged into the corner back there so this rock and then when they drove back past we heard them drive past like 15 minutes later and they're like y'all awake yet and like said something like that. This rock almost hit Allison in the head while we were sleeping um, at two in the morning because some guys thought it was funny to throw a rock at our tent. Really could have messed Allison up. Um, not cool at all. So, what the hell? And now our tent, a brand new tent, first time we used it, was completely ruined. <laughs> um, so. Good morning, guys. Good morning from the campsite. We had a rock go through our tent last night at about two in the morning. Some people decided to throw a rock through our tent. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna set up the GoPro in the tent. Uh, we're gonna set this camera up. Now I'm gonna take the same rock and I'm gonna throw it from where I believe they threw it and we're going to see if I can also do the same thing. Because the tent's already demolished now, uh, we're going to just see if we can rip another hole through the tent to see if we uh, prove our point right here that we think somebody threw this rock through the tent at us last night. So we're going to set the GoPro up inside. We'll have this one shooting from outside. So we can see what happens when you throw a rock through someone's tent at 2 in the morning. That's what we're gonna do. So I believe it is from this point at night where the guys came up with the rock and threw it from here to here. So I believe that they, they took their stance here and they took it and threw it. And this is at the angle at which we will throw our rock in order to replicate what we believe happened last night. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing. I have the GoPro inside and we're going to see if I can pierce the tent with the rock and how hard you have to throw it in order to pierce the tent. So should I do it? All right, here we go. I fucking pierced it. Wow, so it looks like, so it pierced through the rain fly. It didn't pierce through the screen, so they threw theirs even harder. They could have been closer. Yeah, yeah, it could have been way closer. 
now, after that little experiment, I'm thinking that they probably threw that rock from, gosh, maybe 10 feet away from the tent, so maybe about here. They probably came up to about here with that rock and threw it like this. And based on my conclusions with the, the size of that rock and the position of where you're standing here and the angle of where you threw it, you could have killed somebody. Like you're, you were like aiming at people's heads. You know, like at first I probably wasn't gonna press charges against this guy, but like now I probably will after doing that little reenactment and seeing how hard you actually have to throw that thing to get it to pierce through three walls of a tent is like, I mean, that guy was going for blood. Like that guy threw that as hard as he could from like 10 feet away, so. Look at this. Let me show you where Allison was sleeping. Okay. So, Allison was sleeping right here. Her head's right here. The hole that it came through, exited, is right here. If that guy threw this a little bit lower, it could have hit Allison right in the face. Like it came right through this hole right here. Through here, out here. Her face was right here. Like, a little bit lower, this would have killed her. Like those guys are idiots. And as an adult, male, person, human, I know that this is not. If you wanna wake me up and you wanna scare me, rumble my tent, throw a little stick, you know, make noise. Don't throw a whole quartz rock one foot above my girlfriend's head as hard as you can. Because in order to go through this, the rain fly and that, and then out the back, you had to throw that so hard that now I feel like I'm making this video to bring to court so that I can prove my point that this could have murdered my girlfriend. This could have killed my girlfriend. If I had a baby in here, man, do better, do better. Hey guys, so we're back at home now and I just wanted to make this video uh, to show you what exactly happened and tell you exactly what happened. So it was two in the morning on Sunday and I'll put up the date that it happened, but it was two in the morning, we were sleeping in the tent. Um, we heard this big boom, boom rumble and the tent, uh, like, like something had fallen on it or shaken the tent, like some massive thing. And I could hear somebody like heavy footprints, like heavy feet walking away, it sounded like boots, you know? And I could hear the person running away and I was like kind of dazed, you know, cause I was like, what just hit my tent? I was sleeping so well and like blah, blah, blah. And um, so we came to find out as you saw, or as you will see uh, that the rock was thrown through our tent by these two guys. Uh, I woke up in a daze and I sat there for like 15 minutes, like what just happened, trying to put things together and I could hear the guys come back this way across. From, so they started down the hill, down by the water. They came up past our tent, hit it with the rocks, and then uh, ran off, got in their car, and drove past us. So we were staying next to a army vet. The army vet uh, he's, he would always be up super late. And so I knew like this guy was, I was like, his name was Milo and I was like, I know this guy's gonna, he heard these people. So, and I saw him, his dog and my dog got along. So he was driving back down the road or he was walking back down the road down to the water. And I stopped him and I was like, Milo, like, did you hear those guys at 2 a.m. last night driving around? And he was like, yeah, yeah, they came up to my campsite and uh, they started to walk towards my site, but my German Shepherd ran out and kind of growled at them. And they were like, oh, beautiful dog, beautiful dog, got back in their truck and drove away. And I ended up telling Milo, I was like, well, those guys threw a rock through my tent and I showed him everything. And he was like, wow, I'm gonna go see if these guys are still here. So he goes down to the water, the guys packed up all their stuff and left right as he saw them. So they're driving back up. They stop in front of our campsite and talk to another guy that was down by the water the previous night who was who had been with these guys and so they like exchanged numbers or something and um 
And I took a picture of their license plate, which I'm gonna show right here because <clears throat> it was a Ford, black Ford F-150 and the license plate was like J-E-L something. And I'll put that up on the screen right here so you can see it. Um, but those are the guys, those two guys, it was two young guys. They, whoever was driving this truck, it was two young guys and a young boy. Uh, the young boy looked maybe to be like seven or eight um, and it was just them and they were out all night according to these other neighbors the other campers who came up the road They stopped and they were like hey, we heard what happened. Those guys were being super rowdy last night They had thrown like over 50 fireworks. We're on public land national forest like you're not allowed to bring stuff like this and They threw over like 50 fireworks into a fire pit and let all the fireworks just go off like crazy It was it was insane fireworks going off like up in the air, like really big fireworks just blowing up on the ground. They left beer bottles all over the place. Um, and on top of that, they threw this rock through the tent that almost hit my girlfriend in the head. And so I have, you know, other campers and other witnesses, we've taken their numbers and their names and um, who also interacted with these guys who, we had a guy from New Hampshire who literally said he heard them come back to their tent and laugh and joke about how they threw a rock through someone's tent. So he said, I'm sorry it happened to you guys. I heard those guys last night talking about this. Um, so these guys are not good guys. And at first I was like, I had talked to the sheriff, I had done the whole thing. And I was like, you know what, just ban them from the forest. I don't, the sheriff was kind of like, uh, to be honest, nice guy, young guy, but like seemed like he didn't really want to be there. Um, didn't really want to do too much. So he basically just banned the license plate from the forest. Um, it was the URE forest. So up in that area, I'll put the whole area and map coordinates and everything in, in the GPS. I'm just curious because I want to find these guys. I've called the sheriff's office a couple times, left messages. I don't really, I'm, I haven't really had any luck. Um, initially they were very, very nice. Um, and then, you know, nothing really came of it. So I'm, I'm, I would really love to press charges against these guys. They probably shouldn't be drinking beer, driving trucks at night on four by four roads, throwing rocks through people's tents with an eight year old boy in their car. Um, it was a very weird situation. Uh, and I would just like to figure out who these guys are and how I can figure out, you know, figure out how I can get uh, this, take these people to court basically to, to teach them the lesson they deserve because really and truly like that was a careless, very careless thing to do. It was, it shows no care for human life. Like I could have had a baby in that tent. This would have killed a baby. This could have killed my girlfriend. It was literally a foot above her head. It, like I could have hit my dog. It's just a very careless act. And those guys on top of that were littering beer bottles all over the place, tried to mess up someone else's camper apparently and was chased off. And they threw fireworks into the fire and had like more than 50 fireworks go off according to everybody. Um, they were just extremely reckless, very rude. On top of all of that, almost tried to kill my girlfriend. Like these guys need to be served. They need to be uh, given you know, what, what they deserve, honestly. So I wanted to make this video to prove that, to show that. I hope it's not too long. I know it's a little burdensome to watch such a long video, but ultimately that's what happened to us. And um, that's, I just wanted to make this video to get that out there. Cause I, I'm really not this kind of guy that complains about things like that. I really am not. Um, it's just something that's kind of irked me. And I'm like, and it happened only two days ago. Uh, I've tried to get a hold of people and Anyways, I just wanted to put this video out there. Maybe share it, maybe uh, do that for me. So um, I'll put links, emails, and all that stuff. So uh, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. Other than that, we had an amazing trip, but that, that was the last night we were there and, and it shouldn't have happened. And those guys need to, to pay up for what they did to everybody that was there that night, uh, not just us. So. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. This is Oliver. He's my oldest cat. He's 13 years old. He still acts like a kitten. We got him on the raw diet. He's a good boy. Um, anyways, I will talk to you guys soon. I will see you guys in the next video. We got, I got some good stuff coming out. Um, thank you guys for subscribing and watching and doing that whole thing. I appreciate it. 
Um, and maybe I'll put a little clickbaity uh, thumbnail on this one. Uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you on the next one. Bye.